Hello, this is a quick instructional video just making for some guy uh, to help him. Uh, so, open the tabletop simulator, go to create, go to single player because you probably don't want people entering your room while you're making your game. Uh, what you're gonna get this basic table and then you can choose what kind of table you want to use. So, go to objects, components. So, first, I, I usually always choose a table first. So, let's take this rectangle table which is quite good and big enough and then uh, let's say you need to put some uh, cards in your game go click the cards and there is a standard deck which you don't need you need a custom deck or custom cards now custom deck is if you have a prepared image already with your card so let's say I have a prepared image so click on custom card a left click then right click which will open this little like a window and then what you're looking for is this custom deck it is the type rectangle rounded there are also rectangle that doesn't have rounded edges can be hex or hexagonal it can be a circle all right so anyway we are making a simple deck so face is the image you need click go to your files now uh, let's see I probably have some Okay, there should be a file I used. Give me a second, here it is. Uh, it's going uh, the tabletop simulator is going to ask you do you want to put this image into cloud or is it a local image if you put it in the cloud it's going to be saved on the steam servers in their cloud and they will be available for everybody but if you're testing something you can use a local which means only you're going to see the file files normally you want a cloud but I'm going to click the local and then there is is like do you deck have a unique packs meaning that each card in your deck have a different actually before i do this let me show you what what i'm working for so i'm going to click the component custom tile and i'm going to use this image that i want to use for the cards so here it is just so, it, so you can see how this image looks like this is the image i have uh, as you can see, those are all, car all cards I'm using spread into columns and rows. What is important? Basically, each of these is one card. So you put them like this. Don't care about this black side here. It's not going to be shown up. So when you're putting your deck, what is important? You need to know how many columns you have and how many rows you have. So here I have one, two, three, four, five. And I think 10 here. I usually I use a 10 and plot multiply, but, but how many cards there is in a deck? So that's the image I'm working for. So let's now import uh deck custom cards. Alright, so face, I'm gonna take that image. Unique backs, no. That means does every card in my deck has some kind of a different image? You can do that, but usually I just make a deck of where they all have the same back. So it could be just only one image, okay? Only one image that's going to be used as back for all the cards. So let me just find it here. I'm not so sure I actually have it here. Uh, this is the old prototype I was using. Uh, sh ah, here it is. OP back. All right, so that's just one image. And then the program asks you with how many cards in a, in a row. So 10, 8. Uh, if I remember, that was a 5. Even if I put this wrongly, don't... Oops, did I just delete that? I think I deleted something behind. Okay, let's go back. So, custom deck. Let's choose a face. That's a big image there that's on the table. No unique back, so I'm not going to check that out. Back, just one card. There it is. My width is 10, height is uh, 5. Uh, five. Number of cards, well, I can see here. Uh, let's see, it's 
20, 30, 40, 45. So I put that here. For this uses sliders for some reason. I should. I think they should be better if they put like you can just write your number. So 45 cards in the deck. Deck has a uh, 10 rows and five columns. And there is a like. Do you when you look at the card? Do you want to? You wish to be sideways, like rotated. You don't put that if you really don't need it. And are the backs hidden when you like? If someone holding these cards in their hand, do you see the backs or is is there hidden? You don't put this either. And then just import. And here is our deck. So this was image I was using. As you can see, all the cards have the same back. That was just a one image. And inside, if we flip this all my cards that you can see here and since i put the correct number of columns and rows there sh shouldn't be any black cards inside so if i put more like if i put like i have 46 cards and by basically can do that let me show you something so this is my deck i can shuffle it i can do i can enlarge it with plus minus when i hover over the deck plus and minus on the keyboard it's going to enla enlarge the de that deck and um uh, you can search the deck to check out your all cards inside. So right click, search, and you get a little window with those. But let's, if you click, uh, if you hover and right click, there is the option custom. So you can go back to the screen when you're importing things. So let's see what happens if I put like, instead of 45 cards, I put 49. I get some black cards. Why? Well, because as you can see the program basically counting how many rows and columns you have and how many cards so i got him correct number of rows and columns but since i put like there are like 49 cards he just added four more cards so like this so he split it like this and added them you can delete these just over and delete you can copy these cards so if i need like if i need multiple of these cards in my deck i'm not gonna like put them on this image what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go to table to simulator hover over it control c control v here's a deck here's a duplicate of the card and if i need a multiple there they are and then just put them into my deck again shuffle their inside bam so that's an e easy process uh if you want to put all your cards in one deck also you can do this you can go to objects components cards and custom card this means only one card so right right click again uh wait sorry first left click so it it actually are put there but it's blank then right click you open this face okay let's choose one card from here back choose our back and here it is just one card see and then if I put it inside this deck, if I group group together with the deck, it's going to uh, resize automatically. How do you group? You put the... Okay, let's make it smaller. So you put it on the deck, you select everything and press G on your keyboard. Bam, it resizes as the most of your cards in the deck. So that's... If you need quickly, let's say this card is not good. I forgot to write something. Well, I go to Photoshop, change it make just one card and just put it in the deck i delete the, the one that is not uh, that was wrong and put the new one so so that's how you make cards making cards is the easiest way well of course you need to do all the design and put everything you know and make this big file with all your cards but once you have this image or you can you can have like multiple single image if i'm really have time to spare i can like form the whole deck just putting one by one card but that's kind of stupid you you want to do just one image and make a deck from three, two clicks not just making a deck for multiple clicks uh, also whenever you right click on a deck and go to custom you can change these as i said like what happens if you put this sideways let me show you oh by the way uh okay so he made me again those cards black why because i forgot okay let's put this back let me show you something go to custom so i do not have 50 cards i have 45 so let's put this on 45 okay import no more black cards 
basically in real time uh, you just need to know how many rows and columns and how many cards and you don't care about this black stuff all right so what i was trying to show uh oh yeah whenever you right click and custom you can change these things so i put this sideways so check this out now if i hold alt and hover over the card it's actually shown sideways you see but if i right click and remove this now it's correct that's how they the program knows this now these cards can be rec rectangular i mean they could be like boxes let's let's check this option when they are like hexagonal okay so okay so rounded or rectangle okay you can see that their corners are not rounded anymore let's do the hexes yeah but you probably want to make them a bit different because as you can see they they scaled unproportionally so you probably want to make them like hexes when you're making this file let's see what else can we can do uh, circle let's see circle cards <laughs> interesting okay so I never use these options anyway so back to rectangle with the rounded corners and import and here's our deck again all right so that's about the cards now how do you put the maps and all other things well objects components custom and tile so if you have some kind of a map again let's see do i have a map here here it is uh front image top image bottom image if i don't put anything on the bottom image top image will be my bottom image thickness that's how thick your map is or but basically this is a tile but i'm gonna be, use it as a map so let's say my thickness is 10 uh stackable meaning do i have multiple of them that can stack onto each other no so i don't know i'm not gonna put any uh i'm not gonna select that stretch to aspect ratio yes you always do this so the the tile or the map will be stretched based on your width and height of your image so you click the import and here is my map and now plus minus on the keyboard i can enlarge it as much as i want and here's a big map i can use for my game now let me delete this we don't need that it's my deck i can make it smaller so map completed now if i click right click custom uh, i can choose a uh, type rounded usually i do sometime i use that so now you can see the corners again are rounded but i don't think they look good on this map so i'm going to use a box and this can also be a circle see can be a hex so usually when you're making the tiles make them like a hex okay but should be ranked rectangular. i mean this doesn't work maybe if i change this stretch aspect ratio okay so now look better but anyway let's click this and go back to box there's my map now if you shift your view and look you can actually see the thickness and it's white well you can click custom uh actually no custom click right click and go to colors and let's see put something like this and now it it looks much better like it's a part of the map it took a color that looks uh, one of the colors from the map so there is that now how do you put the tiles let's say i need lots of these counters so again object components and i usually use tiles could be tokens but as i said tiles are best because first of all they have a top and bottom image so that's that's the thing so let's put one uh let me see uh here it is so let me see do i have any other cheats no let's use this okay okay so top image bottom image i'm gonna use i'm, I'm actually gonna take this as a bottom image okay thickness i'm gonna set it on 20 stackable let's say yes and stretch the aspect ratio and i'm gonna put around it this time import and here is my little tile and since i put the different images on top and bottom i'm flipping this with f on a keyboard you can see so i probably wanna color this maybe 
something like that. Bam. All right. Now it's stackable. Now if I hover and control C, control V, I can copy the multiple of them. And since they are stackable, you can see once I put them onto each other, they stack. Okay. If I don't want them to stack, select them all, custom, and I just click no. I don't want to stack. And now, okay. So they do not stack anymore. Bam. Uh, so if I need additional of these, I can take one of these that I already made, click right click, custom, and just change the image. So let's say I need this thing. Import, but now keep in mind this. It's gonna say found six matching custom objects. The other ones. Do you do you want me to update them so they look like this? No, you don't want to do that. So you cancel. So they stay like this. Okay. So that's a new object right now. It still has a bottom image of the Soviet size, but if I want to change that too, right click custom and change the bottom image. Let's say this thing. Import and here it is. Bam. So that's that. What else? Backgrounds are for background of your room. Choose an image. You can choose different tables. There is a table that uh, actually, let's say this custom rectangle, big table, but you these tables need an image. If you don't put anything, it's going to be white. Let's see, do I have any kind of image? Well, I don't, but I'm going to take this map, for instance. And bam, it's going to it's gonna put that image on the table. But usually you put some kind of a texture or something like that. Uh, what else? You can put components. You have dice. You have blocks, boards. If you need a block for your game, you, I usually take from these red squares. Bam. And then you can color it whatever you want. So right click, color, let's say white. Bam, now it's a white square. And then with plus minus, you make it smaller or larger. And here is my little cube to track something. Bam. Also, uh, whenever you have a map, you probably want to have... Uh... Yeah, let's change the table back. All right, so you can you can take your map and you can lock it to the table. Just hover over, over it and press L. It's going to be locked. And this is where you want to go using these tools, points, magnet points. Click here. And if you put it in the center where your cube needs to move. Bam, bam, bam. You take the cube. You will notice now when I hover over that spot that I just placed with this green point tool it's gonna stack I mean it's a magnet magnetic point it's gonna bring it down see otherwise without those points uh, when you put it uh, like on this placeholder you can see it moving around right but here it goes right in the center because I put a little point in the center but to do to do this you have to lock your board or a map whatever you have Bam, I just put four there, so now it's going to stack. Once it gets into the area, it's stacking to that. And you, I can do that for, for everything. So if I want some tokens to stack here, bam, bam, bam. Here, now I took the token, it's going to stack. Also, I can make it smaller now that I have a map. I know exactly how, how much big it needs to be. It's stacking, everything is working. All right, so that's it. Let me see what else. Uh, there are also some checkers you can put in. Chess pieces, go pieces, pocket chips. Uh, tools, if you need some tokens, uh, you take the infinity bag. So let's say I need lots of these red cubes. All right, well, I take one of these infinity bag. It actually has like icon of infinity. So whatever you put inside that bag, it will be in infinite infinity number of those inside the bag so if i put this before i do that let's make it smaller if i right click i can even name it let's say that's a i don't know a token now it's a token if i hover over it as you can see it says a token put it in the bag bam now all those are a tokens 
and the infinite number of them in this side is back so that's gonna solve your number of components you need for the game i guess uh you can also rename the bag bag of eight tokens and bam now that's how the bag you can name everything you can name your deck you can name your tokens everything can be named uh what else let me see there are some counters if you need but that's it there are regular bags this bag is just a regular bag so if i put something in it you you can see there is a one piece of something and you can search that right click search okay so in these bags there are not infinite number there just as much as you put in so now if i search i can see there are six of them inside right once i move them all out nothing inside anymore so we have those bags these can be locked down too press l can't move anymore unpress i can move it around uh what kind of other component there are dice uh i never worked with the 3d objects well once really long time ago but usually i don't use them but so if i need dice just put any number of dice dice can be also colored in any color you want here's some red dice control c hover control c control v and just after that you copy any amount so once you want your game to be saved you go to games save load and just put a save game which will be in the root for the folder or you can make a folder uh click here create folder name your folder and you can go there and save there usually i do my stuff in the project so these are all save games in my project so and that's how it works once you save this you can load it whenever you want so let's do that so save game test uh, oh wait just right here test okay so here's my uh, where is my game here it is test if i click it and load here it is now let's say i delete something from this well if i don't save it as long as i load it again it's going to be back again but uh, let's say i delete this mess here and maybe do something here and go to game save load find my thing there is a little option menu here just click that over right bam and now it's over over written so i just make a little uh change and now when i load that's now over written load game bam it's loaded so that's the basic stuff and uh, i think it's gonna help this guy who's making his tabletop mode anyway that's it bye